My lumbar spine course is ideal for the allied health professional wanting to upskill in every part of their prescription and programming knowledge for rehab of the lower back and core systems. You will learn to get people out of pain using mobility and activation work, then back to everyday tasks like lifting and squatting using the essential core stability and strengthening exercises and movement patterns. On this course you'll be learning the correct technique, cueing and instruction for all the strengthening and mobility exercises right the way through learning how to lift and bear load through the spine. You will have a solid understanding of how to create the most successful lumbar spine rehabilitation programs as well as manage difficult injuries like lumbar spine disc herniations. The exercises and programming knowledge will help you continue to deliver the best treatment choices and rehabilitation regimes for your clients. I combine my 21 years of extensive clinical experience supported with evidence-based practice and research. As an allied health professional, learning correct exercise rehabilitation for the lumbar spine will set you apart from your peers and give your practice the ability to produce amazing outcomes. How does the pain relate to how they present? So if this person's got no glutes and they've got pain a certain, does that match up? Then, what do I pull out of my toolkit? So it is the best way for you to get hip hinging without load. So if someone's got a back pain and they don't like doing this position, and they can't hip hinge yet, there's no way you're going to get them doing that. The bridge is your first entry point into that. There, lats on. Now, hold that there, raise your arm more, come on, lift it up, pull that on. Now, right leg's going out the back, don't move this. Draw your core on, here you go, right leg out the back. Good, and then she knows she's got this on. And if you look, you can feel it, it's working, it's all on. And she's got here, She's got a core on, she's got this on, she's got a glute on. It's all connected. Instead of raising your hips, I want you to push down through your heels and push the ground down and you'll raise through there. Now when they get about halfway-ish, if they can then clench their butt cheeks to finish off the hip extension. Pull your lat down and back and lock that. That's your peg in the ground, that's your post. You're gonna look after that shoulder. Now you're gonna do these the rest of your life. You need to look after it. Yep, that's it. And I always come in here and I look in here and go, can I, can I get this person up in there and, and make sure they're in the right position, turn that glute on. Can they feel it in there? Is their TA on, not doming? Can they draw that flat? Breathing. Let your bum go back towards the anchor point, your shoulders forward, run your hands down your knees. That's it, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Do you maintain, keep now, can you do that switch now? Now, what I want you to do in the moment, now creep forward with your feet. Put the tension on, let the tension back on. There you go, that's enough. Now, can you. How to lift correctly is day one. Right, you're lifting kids, you can't stop that. That's happening tomorrow. You've got a kid who's, you know, a baby that's six months old and you're breastfeeding and you've done your back in. They can't stop doing certain things. The husband's away on some trip. They're going to have to do the washing machine. They're going to have to do lifting kids. They're going to have to do things and carrying all the time, daycare. Things don't stop. So you're going to have to adapt to that person to say, okay, I need you doing these exercises, but also got to teach you how to lift. This is what I want you to do with the washing machine. This is what I want you to do lifting, the, lifting things you know, onto the line. With all those sort of activities of daily living that you're going to have to actually educate that client in, and in doing that helps your rehab program but they're not teaching their brain any good movement patterns in here. So for our clients who are injured or are in pain and we're trying to get them to bear load and stabilize, we can't afford them to go and launch themselves into extension. So this is a good way of dialing that right back, taking the bands off and saying, can you just maintain your neutral and keep it there and know where the point is and when you lose it you really want your shin angle being the same as your back angle. At the moment, your back angle is there, your shin angle is there, so you need to get those shins forward more or your back upright a little bit more. That's better, yeah. And those subtle changes just really help. She comes from here, and there's her side plank on her knees, okay? It's exactly the same as a side plank on the ground, on her knees, She's just elevated, there's not as much load or difficulty through her back.